Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel and my new kitchen. My first ever tutorial, tutorial, recipe, follow along, laugh along, whatever you want to call my recipe videos. My first ever cook with you guys in my new kitchen and I'm super excited. Apart from like I'm having oven issues right now which is not, you know, not the glamorous life I signed up for. Um, so what we're going to do today is we are going to make a salad. Now if you're thinking, Sarah, you hate salads, then hot down, you're right. I'm not going to lie, I, I'm of the opinion that salads are very often a lie of the devil. However, in summer, I can bear them. I kind of like salads in summer, as long as they're a good salad. Now I'm going to show you exactly how I make a filling good salad that actually tastes good. If you want to see what exciting, tasty summer salad I have in store, then simply keep watching, give this video a thumbs up and I will do more like it, click subscribe so you never miss a trick and join me on Instagram because I literally share my whole day what I'm doing, when I'm doing and why I'm doing 24-7 and who wouldn't want to see that? Who? Why don't you want to see that? So yeah, without further ado, let's get cooking except not cooking, combining combining is what you do when you make a salad let me grab the ingredients Feta cheese, I've, all my stuff is from Aldi by the way, or most of it. Feta cheese, some smoked mackerel, we are using mackerel for our protein today. Again, you can kind of use whatever you want. I find that mackerel is so full of flavour, but it is a particular taste. So if you like it, you like it, if you don't, you kind of don't. But it is packed full of omega-3. Then of course, you're going to need some salad leaves. So I've just got some bistro salad, sunstream, vine ripened tomatoes, some pomegranate seeds and some peppers. Now I don't usually make my own dressings, normally I will just grab a shop bought one, but actually making your own salad dressing is a really good idea on cutting down on unnecessary fats and oils and calories in your salads because a lot of the time we can assume that a salad is the healthy option, but what they do is they drizzle a lot of olive oil on it, which although it tastes great, olive oil is like crazy calories. I don't think people realise how many calories are in olive oil, and I'm not saying that to put you off, but if you are going to put it on your salad, just realise that that might increase how much energy you are putting into your body by a heck of a lot, okay? So there are benefits of olive oil, but it's not always necessary to drench your food in it as good as it may taste. Not every day, anyway. Not every meal for every day, you know? For the dressing, I'm gonna use some vinegar, some honey, some lemon, and some salt and pepper, and that's essentially it. Let's go. So, place your leaves on your plate. A lot of leaves. Salads are a great way of getting in your vitamins, fibre, and your fibre day. I'm going to throw on some pomegranate seeds. I love these. Again, if you don't like them, don't add them, because putting them in a salad is not magically going to make you like them. You'll just be like, ugh, pomegranate seed. <laughs> I love it. Oh, so good. A bad boy pepper. I'm going to go for the yellow pepper, purely because I like to keep things colourful. Sounds a bit basic, but honestly it works a treat. The more colourful your plate, the more variation of foods that you've got. Doesn't count if part of the colour on your plate is a McDonald's packet, okay? So for all of you out there with jobs, um, that it's not always possible to have a set lunch work break that you can go to the staff room and heat up your food, salads are actually really great because you don't have to heat them up, you can just eat them as they are. So I feel like that is enough pepper for me at the moment. Sunstream, vine, tomatoes, gonna rinse them off, cut them up and put them in. Now to be completely honest, I've never been the biggest fan of tomatoes, but recently they've been growing on me and I'm liking that they are because they're such a good little add-on to just sprinkle on to anything or just throw in a recipe. What I would say to people who are like, oh I would eat those but I just don't like fruits or I just don't like vegetables. Look around her, look around this beautiful green earth. There are so many plants, so many types of fruits and vegetable that it's not that you don't like all fruits and vegetables, it's that you just haven't found the one yet. You haven't found they, okay? You can't let one bad relationship experience, you know, stop you from believing in love. You've got to keep the faith. Um, so my advice to you would be to keep on trying stuff. Just get exotic with your fruits and vegetables. You don't just have to have broccoli, carrots and peas the rest of your days, okay? Life is for living. Keep trying stuff. And you'll find something you know. One of the biggest banes of my life, as bad as that sounds, is that I don't like avocado. I'm a fitness, fitness, <laughs> I'm a health and fitness vlogger who doesn't enjoy avocado. That's really hard for me, but you'll probably never see avocado in a recipe <laughs> on this page, and I do apologize for that. However, the reason for that is 
um, it makes me feel a bit sick after I eat it and it's just not worth powering through. I don't mind the flavour as long as you spice it right, but no. You've got to be true to your taste buds, true to yourself and not just pretend like, mmm, this really tastes good if it tastes like ass. Because if it tastes like ass, you're not going to eat it consistently and so you're not going to get the benefits of having that healthy, good diet. So find something you like. And that, my friends, is how you drag out a salad recipe video. Better cheese. So I'm literally just going to cut off a cube of that. Mmm as punchy. Another great source of protein, a little bit high in fat, but such good flavour that I feel like it doesn't even count. And I'm going to grab my mackerel. Eat it hot, so you can eat it cold. I'm obviously going to eat this cold because it's in a salad. I can't wait to eat this. Mm. 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 Dressing, I'm just going to get the juice of a lemon and I'm going to squeeze that in. Again, you could totally just use a shop bought dressing, but I like keeping it fresh and pretentious to be completely honest. Squeeze that in, get the guns going. It's a workout as well as a recipe. There are seeds in there. I'm sure that I will find a way to get them out. I can't really be bothered, so I probably won't. I will just not eat them. You want to get a little bit of honey, so I do have a sweet tooth. But what I love about making your own stuff is that you can control how much of what goes in. And I'm gonna grab some vinegar. I just needed to grab the salt and pepper, sorry. Not that organized. Crunch a little bit of that in there. Make sure that you mix it well to get the honey from the bottom as well. And I'm just gonna drizzle that over the salad. And there you have it, you guys, my five minute, super quick mackerel summer salad. It is really filling, and yes, I do eat massive portions. This really isn't that big, it isn't that many calories. Um, because I like to be full. I don't want any fake news food. No fake food, thank you. No fake full. I actually want to be full, so I do just eat larger quantities whenever I have my salad. Let's try and see how good this is. Now, this is another reason I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Why salads frustrate me? You have to get them all on a fork. Like, I already put you together. Now I have to work even more to combine you. But that's okay. It only took five minutes. I'm not bitter, so I'm going to try and combine a bit of everything. I've got a bit of mackerel. I need a bit of feta. Got some pomegranates. Let's go, let's see how this tastes. Mm. There are a lot of strong flavors in this. I really love it personally. I'm not one of those people who's like dry leaf salad. Thank you so much for watching guys. Let me know if you try this, if you like it. Are you a salad person or not a salad person? Like am I alone in thinking salad is fake news? Um, but yeah, let me know what you think and if you try it, I'd love to know. Thank you so much for watching and for being my internet friends. I will see you guys in my next video. Let me know what other videos you want to see as well. Okay, bye, love you, bye.